Hi everyone, it's Andrea over at SoSpire.com and I'm just popping in here to give you a little update. Um, if you follow me over on Instagram or Facebook, then you've already heard the news. I'm not going to be able to finish that whole cloth quilt. I caved in and turned it into a bag. It is beautiful though, isn't it? Oh my goodness. And I had already started quilting the quilt and um, that the detail of that worked so perfectly into the strap, the flap, and the exterior pocket. So um, I wanted to show you some of the features of this bag. I'm not actually going to show you how to sew this bag because I had another project planned for today, but I want to tell you about some of the features. The flap closure, first off, is um, unique. It has the Velcro, but it does not span the whole top of the bag, so just kind of a minimized flap closure. The strap is very short. It has a very short um, handle drop, but that allows the bag to get this like slouchy hobo look to it, which I adore. And then the strap is also very wide. I used an eight inch wide cut of fabric to create this strap. And it is super nicely padded. So it's a very comfortable bag to carry. Now on the inside, I'm gonna flip this around. There's a couple nice features in there. I was able to incorporate more of that thick padded quilted um, fabric on the inside to create a, a lap top sleeve. I sized this perfectly to hold my mat hook and then I went ahead and double dipped on the exterior flap closure which I told you was unique because I can use it to close the lap top sleeve too. If um, I, for example, if I had the bag sitting on a countertop and I just wanted to keep the laptop secured, but I did not need the exterior of the bag secure, I could flip that right inside and close that up. So that was clever, I thought. And then I love this part of the bag here. I went ahead and installed a zipper pocket so I could put my wallet and valuables in there. And then in that zipper gusset, I attached a key fob and a little d-ring in case i want to clip something on there and then that excess of the pocket i used to make um, two tiny shallow pockets one for my earbuds and then one for pens so i just divided that pocket like that the width of the zipper and then got two more pockets out of that so i absolutely love how this bag turned out and I think, honestly, it's going to offer me a lot more satisfaction than that quilt, which was a great idea. But what happened was I totally ran out of patience and I just kept looking at it, looking at it. I'm like, oh, I'm never going to finish it. So um, I'm all about the instant gratification. So I got this great bag. I don't think I mentioned to you, too, that it has two exterior pockets as well. And that's where I pop my charger for the computer and cell phone so in case I forgot to mention that another great feature of the bag so anyways today right after I upload this quick little update I'm going to show you how to sew this totally sassy wristlet bone wallet and inside of this is this a little slip pocket here where you can put your cell phone I sized it large enough to hold the iPhone 6 Plus, which is what I have. And then there's a zipper pocket to keep the valuables secure. And as a little added bonus, we're making this card wallet that'll hold about 30 cards. Um, so you can have a combination of debit, credit, business cards, shopper cards, um, whatever you usually carry with you. And then you would put your cards in there and then put that in the zipper pocket and be ready to go so that project is next up but i have one more fun thing to show you this has been a long time in the making i have envisioned like um, some type of decal to put on the sewing machine and so 
Uh, this is just one of many that I'm going to be producing, but I thought I might as well start with the first, um, which I'll just show it to you so you can see. It is holographic, so I hope that it shows here, and I hope you can read it. It says creative genius, and so it fits. It's sized to fit exactly on the machine deck like that. And I personally design the sticker. I print the sticker, and I will ship the sticker to you. So I want to give one away for free. So if you just comment on this video, I will choose a winner next week. This is open to our international friends as well. So just leave me a comment and tell me how you're enjoying the channel. That would be great. And I'll draw one winner who will receive my original Creative Genius sewing machine sticker. If you don't want to put it on your sewing machine, you could certainly you could put it on a clipboard and then hang it up or use it for your planning. Um, it is removable but not repositionable, so you could adhere it to a wall and then safely remove it later when you're done. Um, I thought it'd be cute on a stool even or make a little sign for yourself. Lots of ideas for that, but I'd love to give one away. And then if you just can't wait and you must have one and you would like to support the channel, you can order those. I'm selling them over at SoSpire.com. And you'll see them off um, to the right. There's a little link and you can click to order one of those and I'll ship that right away for you. It's just meant to inspire um, us both. So that's all I have for now. I'm excited to show you how to sew this wallet and I will upload that right after I upload this little update. I hope you all have a beautiful day and as always, please know the creative genius in me celebrates the creative genius in you. Take care, everybody.